G'day! In today's video I've got a Seagate external hard drive with the PlayStation branding with the model number, or it's a game drive as it says, SRD00F1. Right now when this drive is connected up to a PC it starts beeping, or to the PlayStation it starts beeping. Usually when I hear that it's a, it's a hard drive failure. I'm not sure too technically what the issue is, but I'm going to be opening this up and putting this Toshiba drive in there just to use the external enclosure itself. So what I should be able to do is, I've had the top of this heating up at about 70 degrees, and with that combined with a plastic pry tool, maybe a metal pry tool, I should be able to get in there and take the cover off to get to the drive, and then replace the drive. I keep going around. From memory, this is just glued on. As you can see, there's the oh, double-sided tape. There we go. So the heat did help lift that off. Here's what I want to come here for. This one is a one is a two terabyte drive, but I don't have any two terabyte drives available. So I do have a second-hand one terabyte. Thus, I'm using the one terabyte drive. This should peel off. Uh, right now, with the added heat, this should come off relatively easy for me. Or at least easier than if it's cold. Since this drive is dead, I don't really care about it getting too hot. Granted, I've never really had too much, many issues with hard drives overheating. Okay. Flip this over. And then slide this out. Take off the tape. There we go. So that is the dead 2 terabyte hard drive. Even though it says game drive, it doesn't really matter. It's still just a standard external hard drive. Uh, does, does, I don't think this mentions RPM on here. Uh, no. And then we should be able to feed that through here. Like so. Put that on top. Go around. Tape it up. Now, I'm not sure if the PlayStation will ask to format it when it's connected. I believe it might, if it's the wrong format. Um, but I'm just probably going to hook this up to the PC just to test it out prior. And double check what Sony recommends for an external drive. Not that way. Maybe we'll go this way. That's one. One terabyte drive in there. And then this should just push back on and stick back down. So that may potentially be a cheaper method to replace the dead hard drive in a two Seagate two terabyte game drive if that drive has failed like this one has. Oh, yeah, simple, straightforward. Hope that helps, and I'll see you later. Bye.